Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look back to Nintendo's Wii U system for the colorful platformer Yoshi's Woolly World. Yoshi's Woolly World was developed by Good Feel and released by Nintendo for the Wii U in 2015. The game was released on the Nintendo 3DS in 2017 with minor upgrades and Poochie as the added feature. As the spiritual successor to Nintendo's own Kirby's Epic Yarn in 2010, this version of Yoshi's World takes that to the next level with being made of string and yarn that visually looks incredible to the eye. There are times where you will just marvel at how detailed this 2D side-scroller platformer does with the world, enemies, and of course, Yoshi himself. Adventuring over six worlds with about eight levels per world with about two mini-bosses in each, Yoshi and friend can journey to free the other Yoshis that were abducted by Magikoopa Kamek as bundles of yarn for Baby Bowser. A very simple story, as all stories from anything Mario truly is. The story really doesn't mean a thing in this game. It's the adventure that you go through is its own reward, with tight gameplay that will leave your precise jumping and flying a needed skill if you are going to go anywhere in this game. The platforming is sublime, as every bit as intense as any other Mario 2D platformer was. You can also swallow enemies and use them as yarn balls as weapons later to throw at or to just spit out the enemy as projectiles as well. The yarn balls can be used to solve puzzles like creating platforms to jump onto or to opening secret entrances to progress further in the level. Also made for younger players as well, you will have the option on turning on the easy mode that will give Yoshi wings and the power of flight along with more health. I found that when used, the game does become much easier, but one of the only ways younger players like my son would play further into the game without too much frustration. Between levels, you are also able to purchase power-ups before you start the level with the jewels that you collect throughout the game. The game does put an emphasis on collecting anything and everything, but it doesn't seem that to feel that it really gets in your way. The sound is fantastic that really gets the mood of each level right with a calm soothing melody in the beginning to intense rock with lava levels. The sound effects matches all the game perfectly as you feel that you are in over the top cute world that Yoshi truly lives in. There are also mini bonuses and games that make Yoshi change into various objects to gather jewels and crystals to writing Poochie that will surprise and amaze you. Of course, the replay value is small once the game is completed, leaving much to be desired in a 7 to 10 hour game, but the adventure truly stands on its own. Multiplayer, while welcome and fun, can really turn into chaos when two players don't really work as a team. They will use the other as projectiles or something in your way. When multiplayer works right, you will be able to solve puzzles faster with a second opinion and is a blast figuring out and using each other to solve the problem. I do see this being played more as a single player affair as patience is the key and usually one player is a speedrunner where the other one is just way too careful. Yoshi's Woolly World gets an 8.0 out of 10. 
The game itself is a blast from the past, taking the tried and true 2D gameplay that never fails, but is as addictive as I remembered when I was playing games like Super Mario Bros. 3. Of course, the visuals take center stage with its incredibly crafted world, making this a must play for Wii U owners to check out if they haven't already. That's it for me on this look into Yoshi's Wooly World. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Damn. Uh. Yeah.